Run that back turbo. Hey, 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 hey. Design a head to toe. So today is pretty exciting, pretty scary. Um, <laughs> I just paused the video just to let you guys know that I am aware that I need a haircut, uh, so don't judge me. Uh, but please like and subscribe and continue to watch the video. I'm surprised at the end. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm on site of a COVID-19 uh, testing spot. Oh! Somebody! Excuse me, I'm tired, but... Uh... I don't know where I'm going to be honest. I'm at a uh, COVID-19 testing site. Um, I'm here to talk to a couple of people. Um, hopefully I don't get the Rona. But uh, I'm here to talk to a couple of people for work. Um, see where... See, uh, they're not testing people with symptoms. They're testing people without symptom symptoms. So asymptomatic people. But... Uh, but yeah, I'm a little nervous because I'm around this stuff, but I'm about to see what I can get my hands on. Hey there, how are you? Pretty good. What do you know today? Uh, trying to get a couple of interviews. Um, wanting to talk to possibly the um, medical staff and whatnot. Um, okay. And uh, I guess one of you guys, you mean... If you want to head down there, there's another officer down there. It'll be our chief. Okay. Yeah, you can swing down there and talk to them, and then he might be able to get you in touch with any of the medical staff that's already that's down there because they're all inside the building. Okay, perfect, so, perfect. Uh, so, yeah, just swing down there and just park over there by that other squad car, and uh, he can help you out. Okay, thank you. And what's his name? Uh, chief Halverson. Chief, okay, thank you. Thank you. Boy, listen, it's security all over the place, bro. I'm spooked. I'm not going to lie, bro. This is This is creepy. about to slam me you wanna maybe park over there okay okay or i guess you can swing in behind me if you wanted so uh yeah i'll try to park over there get out the way okay. all right thank you all right y'all wish me luck thank please <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> <laughs> no, we're about to kill this. Let's go. Rock and roll. <laughs> um, can you let the people know what we're doing out here? Yeah, so today at, here at Montreux County Health Center, we're doing a drive through coronavirus testing clinic. Ideally, we're shooting for anybody in northern Montreal County that hasn't had access to drive-through testing in the past. We're urging anybody that wants to be tested to come on out. Obviously, those who have symptoms or have a known exposure to somebody who's got coronavirus, we want to prioritize, but we're not going to turn anybody away. We're trying to target as many people as possible so we can get some data to the governor so we can get uh, North Dakota Smart uh, restart back in line. Definitely. So if you think you have corona or if you don't think you have corona, just come out, get tested until 2 o'clock, right? two o'clock and um yeah it's a great day out here so come on out i think i'm gonna get tested you know might as well right just pray i don't have the room she was recording me i'll do the recording but no um i just uh just left this um quarantine site about to head back home um it was pretty weird. Uh, there wasn't a lot of people out here, but it's good that they're doing this. Um, they're actually doing free testing for, like I said, people who are, you know, asymptomatic or if you are symptomatic, you know, they're inviting you to come out here. Um, the last clip, um, I had to act like I was uh, interviewing the guy, but he was cool. He was cool. He was cool. He was cool. Um, he basically explained to all of my non-North Dakotan people that will probably subscribe to my channel um, to come out and get tested. So um, he encourages other people to uh, have these type of test sites in uh, your state, your town, wherever you're from. Um, but I'm about to... Uh,
Dallas down and, you know, 99.9%, actually 99.99999% um, hand sanitizer. So, uh, yeah, I got to get back to work, but, um, but yeah, um, they actually let me get tested. Oh, somebody! Whether or not I want to share my results or not will be, um, you to find out and me to know. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably let you guys know. I don't think I have it, um, but, but yeah, when I get my results, when I get my results back, I'll let you guys know. So, um, actually funny story, funny story before I end this, uh, I actually thought I had coronavirus, like back when it first hit United States, um, I had like chills, um, I had like night sweats, uh, it was bad, like it, it was, it felt like I was, when it first hit me, it felt like I had a cold, but then like out of nowhere, like I wasn't coughing or nothing, it was just like my throat hurt. My head hurt. Um, throughout the day, I would get like, like tired, like just drowsy, like it was bad. Um, yeah, so uh, I thought I had it. Um, I actually called out of work for a couple of days um, to get my like I was just too weak to do anything. Um, so called out of work for a few days, did my social distancing, um, and then I came back to work just fine. But I mean, it didn't last more than a week, but. Um, just to be safe, you know, because I was scared to get tested at the time. I'm not going to lie. Like, I have this fear, like, like of me just knowing things. Like, I start to over-exaggerate. So, I make the situation worse than what it is. So, me just not knowing, I'd rather not know, which is stupid. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. Um, if you think you have something, go get tested. You know, whatever you need to do. But, um, I was like, if it, if it keeps up, you know, after a week, then I'm going to go get tested. I'm going to go get, you know checked out or whatever but like i said after a week it went away um honestly i said a quick prayer um i told god because it really felt like i was about to die um but i said a prayer i told god i said look man um i know you didn't send me to north dakota to die so uh we need to we need to work something out right now because um i'm not <laughs> i'm not i mean you can't really tell god what he's supposed to do but i just knew i just know he has great plans for my life and coming here to die was just not it so i said that prayer and um yeah i feel great uh but yeah today i got tested um they talked me into it uh so yeah i'll get those results back and uh, when i find out i'll let you guys know so <laughs> tell me how I went to this COVID-19 uh, testing site, <clears throat> and now I'm over here coughing. My throat, my voice is going out. <clears throat> my voice is going out. I'm coughing. Like, this is no, like, I'm not even being dramatic. Like, oh, my mom. Like, I swear to God, like, I'm coughing. Like, my, my throat is a little bit tangy. I'm pretty sure it's just a cold because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's just a cold because uh, the weather is changing. But yeah, I don't I don't think anything is of it. I think I just have a cold. But um, <clears throat> God, dog. Me and my homeboys, we have some things cooking up. We're uh, working on a uh, a vodcast. What? Basically, what it is, is us just, like, we spend all day, like, arguing and stuff. Not really, I wouldn't even say arguing, but, like, uh, debating. We debate a lot. And we just, like, why not, you know, potentially get exposure for it? Because a lot of the topics that we talk about is, like, real-life situations that um, people could benefit from, people probably agree with, or, yeah, I don't know. We're, <clears throat> we're just thinking of ways to be creative right now during quarantine. And ways to possibly get paid for it and so we have a new channel coming up called um well this is a name that i gave it was 4k vodcast but um yeah we're just it's just something we're cooking up right now and we're working on but um i don't feel good right now like i said i think it's a cold because the weather is changing but um i'm gonna say a prayer
and hopefully he knocks that thing out of here. Cause I don't got time to be sick. <clears throat> <laughs>